Hello my dudes, my name is Leah and today I have another update for my Project Level Up Project Pan. Project Level Up was originally created by Sophie Alexandra, I will leave her channel linked down below and at the end of this video as always. If you're new to Project Level Up, basically it's a eyeshadow panning project pan where we work on eyeshadow palettes in different levels. There are five levels and the number level that you are on corresponds to how many times you have to use every shade in the palette and how many shades you have to hit pan on in the palette in order to level up. So for example, I'm currently working on level three. So I need to use every shade in my palette at least three times and I need to hit three pans in the palette in order to level up to level four. So in my last update, we leveled up to level three and rolled in my Kaleidos Futurism Electro Turquoise palette. I absolutely love this palette. It's been so fun to work on. This is hands down my favorite Futurism palette from Kaleidos. I just think the color story in this is so unique and the quality is that great Kaleidos quality that I know and expect from them. So I have had so much fun working on this palette for the past couple months and I'm excited to share with you my progress. So let's take a look at what this palette was looking like in my last update when it was rolled in. As you can see, I didn't have any pans in my palette yet, but here is what my palette is looking like today. So hopefully you can see I do have some new pans in this palette and I'm really excited to share with you how many times I use each shade, so let's go through it. First we have the shade Shockwave. I used this shadow six times since it was rolled in. It's a gorgeous sparkly white, so sparkly. Uh, it kind of leans gold in its own way, but it is still obviously a white. Um, next we have Force Field. This shadow took 11 uses in order to hit pan and I actually hit pan on it today in this look. I kind of used it all over my eye so it's in my crease, my outer corner. I also put it all over the lid and then I used it on my lower lash line. I obviously chopped shimmer all over my lid. Um, I'm using one of the shades from the Endlessly Rain Cold Moon palette all over my lid but this shadow is all over my look and I was able to hit pan on it. Like I mentioned, it took 11 uses to hit pan. I did have a really good dip going in this shade before I rolled it into this project, so I thought it wouldn't even take 11 uses. I thought I would hit pan on it sooner, but it is pretty hard pressed, so it still took a little bit of time to hit pan on. Next, we have the shade Voltaic. This shadow took nine uses to hit pan, and you can see that shiny pan there. I did have a big dip on this shade when this palette was rolled in as well. This was a really fun shade to incorporate. It's almost neon, and I just love it. Next, we have the shade Tron. This was actually the first shade I was able to hit pan in this palette. It only took five uses to hit pan on Tron, this shadow, if you remember from my last update, it actually fell out of the pan when I was filming. So I did repress it and I lost some product and obviously it's not as tightly packed as it used to be due to repressing. So this one was really easy to hit pan and that is the third pan I have on this palette. Next we have the shade Digiteal. This shadow I used three times. And then we have Wired, which I also used three times. So if you were keeping track, I do have my three pans and I've used every shade at least three times. So we get to level up to level four, which is super exciting. So I have my little tiny decisions wheel with all my palettes in it. This has been updated. I fixed it up today, so it has a ton of palettes in it. Um, the majority of my palettes are in here. I don't have like my pan that palette and some other palettes that are just gonna be way too hard to hit pan on, like my Pat McGrath palette and whatnot. But the majority of my collection is in this little wheel. So we are going to roll and see what we get for level four. I still do have um, like three vetoes, I think is how many uh, Sophie gives herself. So we'll see what we get. This is the Gourmand Girls Nightshade palette. Um, do I wanna work on that? 
I guess so, why not? Let me go grab that, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with my level four palette, which is the Gourmand Girls Nightshade palette. I was kind of unsure at first if I wanted to veto this one out just because it's like a newer palette to my collection, but I decided I wanna go for it because it's a really fun color story. I think it's super unique, as you can see. It's like, pops of yellow with purple and green and kind of like some cool tone smoky gray colors in there as well. I don't have any other palettes with this similar type of color story in my collection, at least that I can think of. Um, and it's a really good formula as well. Some of the mattes um, are a little bit sheer like this lavender one here. It's not one of the better pastels in my collection. But these shimmers in here are so special and pretty, especially this yellow called Flowering. This one is just one of my favorite shadows in my collection. I do have a small dip on that shadow actually, so that's probably one of the shades I will try to hit pan on. I imagine most of the shades I'm going to hit pan on in here are going to be shimmers. But I'm really excited to get some more use out of this palette and really get to know it. I'm excited to make this palette look well loved. I believe this palette is already discontinued unfortunately, but I want to love on it and get some good use in here because this was actually a gift from my mom. I think she got this for me for my birthday. And yeah, I really loved playing with it when I got it and I've kind of put it away and I'm excited to bring it back out again and get more use on it and show it some love. So this is going to be my level four palette. Let me know, have you tried Gourmet Girls? Do you have any palettes from them? But that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe. But I'll talk to you next time. Bye.